Hello and welcome to Supercomputing 2011, the IBM booth. My name is Rick Perrette. I'm Global Market Manager for IBM's Technical Computing Business Line. This year's theme in Supercomputing is Smarter Computing. Smarter Computing really addresses three areas that our customers face. One is in the area of big data and large scale analytics. The second is around those customers that are looking for workload optimized solutions, those that deal not just with the compute side, but with storage and the software required to run on that platform. And thirdly, for those customers that really are seeking flexible and reliable and responsive delivery models for their, for their companies. So please come and join us for this virtual tour of the IBM booth. My name's Ed Seminaro. I'm our Chief Architect and IBM Fellow for the Power 775 server. It's our most powerful system that we have in the Power 7 family. What's unique about this year, while well, it's our third year at the show with this system, this is actually now generally available as of August of this year. Um, we've now shipping this in volume to all of our customers, our commercial weather customers and our other mainstream customers, and we're basically shipping as many as we could possibly build at this point. Uh, this system has the capability of 180 times the performance of Watson. Um, it has memory that could be up to one or 2,000 times as big as the memory in Watson. Storage capacity uh, is extremely high with this platform. So we have a lot of big ideas for this. We're hoping to continue to evolve this platform as the years go on. And um, we hope to have a great year next year, shipping as many as we can build as well. Hi, my name is Beth Tibbetts. I'm a senior software engineer with IBM. Here we're showing productivity tools to help people that develop parallel applications. An MPI, OpenMP, and things like that. Um, so it includes the Eclipse open source components from Eclipse.org, including the Parallel Tools platform. We have several developers in our group that, are, that have developed the Parallel Tools platform. So you can edit and debug and analyze and have really specific editors and refactorings for C and C++ and Fortran. Now on top of what's in the open source stuff, the IBM specific um, integration tools include uh, the IBM HPC toolkit to let you get the best performance out of your parallel application, and some other IBM tools that help you integrate the IBM compilers and the special APIs from, from IBM. So we hope you're interested in trying out the IBM PE developer edition for Eclipse. My name is uh, Cristobal Espinosa. I'm with IBM representing STG. Uh, I represent the System X brand. Uh, we're here at Supercomputing 11 showcasing our iDataplex uh, DX360 M3 running the, our uh, GPU solutions, NVIDIA Quadro Pro or Tesla solutions. And here we're showing a, a graphical representation of an MRI of a brain uh, running on the CPU and running on the GPU. Uh, on the GPU, it run, the, the application runs about uh, 10 times faster. Over here, I have a sampler of our 25U rack uh, with our top-of-the-line servers. It includes the 3850X5. It's a top-of-the-line uh, four-socket. Uh, the uh, Blade Center S, which is the uh, small SMB type of uh, uh, chassis solution. It has six blades and the built-in storage. I also have the Blade Center H, which has 14 blades and it supports up to 10 gig uh, connectivity. I'm showing our uh, virtual fabric solution, which includes a solution with between IBM, BNT, which is an IBM company, and Emulex. Um, one of the products that we're also showcasing here, which is our latest, greatest um, offerings on the Sandy Bridge, Intel's latest uh, processor, is the 3650M4 and also the iDataplex DX360 M4. This particular model is the uh, water cool one, okay? So it's got a two socket water cool processors, do not need to run water in the data center. 
It's a self-contained uh, system within the rack. Um, so 16 DIMM slots, 16 gig DIMMs, DDR3, all running at 1600. Uh, and the processors, uh, they are 2.8, but with a water cooler turbo, turbo mode, uh, it can go all the way to 3.3 megahertz. Thank you. Hello, I'm JD Zeman, worldwide sales executive with IBM, focused on our high performance computing cloud. The high performance computing cloud is a very interesting, exciting new area because it's focused not just on commercial cloud capabilities, being able to manage things like virtual machines, but it's actually specifically designed to work effectively in a high performance computing environment. So we're able to provision entire clusters incredibly quickly. And this brings new value to the high performance computing market. We have an integrated set of end to end capabilities from a hardware, software, and services standpoint, with the focus being on our HPC management suite for cloud. This is applicable across multiple industries, so we find clients using it in industrial uh, industry to be able to focus more on things like uh, remote 3D visualization, to be able to pool their actual calculation farms together and be able to do the remote 3D visualization. And other areas like education, we're able to combine multiple buildings in a campus and pool clusters together and allow people still to utilize the full capability of the resource. Because the HPC cloud really drives increased utilization and lower cost of the resources by very flexibly allowing people to quickly provision resources to be able to do this through a self uh, provisioning portal and also to be able to give them a whole lot of flexibility to ch respond to changing business dynamics. So the HPC cloud is a very cost effective solution and it really brings the benefits of cloud specifically to an HPC environment.